Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to download and set up the SMP Tweaks plugin. The SMP Tweaks plugin tackles common problems of vanilla survival multiplayer by adding various tweaks and configurations. In config, you can edit what happens to a player when they die, such as randomizing a drop of one of their items. You can also increase or decrease duration of day and night. You can configure how frequently a certain mob spawns or disable mobs completely, such as phantoms. A nifty feature is that you can add custom crafting recipes. You can craft awesome things without the need of data packs. There are a lot more simple features available to edit. You'll be able to see how you can edit these later on in the video. There's also timestamps in the description you can click on. In order to set the plugin up on your server, you'll have to download it, which you can do by heading to this page. The link to it will be in the description. When you're there, all you have to do is click on the download now button on the right and that will automatically download the .jar file. When it's done downloading, we recommend dragging it to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. To set up the plugin on your server, you'll have to head to the server.pro website. When you're there, head into your server's control panel. At the server dashboard, make sure that your server's type is set to paper and that the version is compatible with the plugin version. You can find what version the plugin supports on the plugin page. Before proceeding, make sure the server is offline and then you can head to the files tab. There you'll see a plugins folder. Double click that folder and open it up. Once it's open, all you have to do is drag in the plugin file you downloaded earlier. It'll take a millisecond to upload, so when that's done, you can turn your server on. In the meantime, you can head to the console. There you'll know that the plugin is set up correctly when it says Enabling SMP Tweaks. Note that if your server is still online when installing the plugin, please restart your server fully to enable the plugin. Don't do slash reload as this can cause errors. To make sure everything is working as intended in game, you'll want to head to your dashboard and copy the host name. Afterwards, start up your Minecraft application and when the game is open, head to the multiplayer section. Click Add Server and in the Server Address section, paste the host name. When that's done, double click to enter the server and after the server's finished loading up, you can test out the plugin. As you can see, if I type slash SMP tweaks, it comes up with the plugin's commands. If the same happens for you, that means you've set up the plugin correctly. However, if that doesn't happen, it may mean that you missed a step in the tutorial, so make sure to go back and refollow them. There are some optional configurations you can make with the plugin file. To find the config file for the plugin, you'll have to head to the files tab and into the plugins folder. Inside that you should see a SMP tweaks folder and then a config text file. At the top of the config file you can enable removing XP on death. That means you can edit how much XP they lose or if the amount is randomized. You can also enable inventory drops on death. You can configure the randomization of the drop, or you can set items that will always drop when a player dies. A cool feature is you can disable inventory dropping if it's a PvP death. This way players can't kill each other to get items. Scrolling down you can edit day and night. You can disable sleeping skipping the night, so night time carries on after sleeping. You can also edit day and night duration, as well as health regen whilst the player is sleeping. In the other tweaks section you can configure the spawn rates of mobs such as how more or how less they spawn. You can set up custom recipes as well by using the layout shown here and then labeling the items below. Not only that, but at the bottom you can configure login rewards so players receive materials every day they log in. There are many more configurations you can make here, but always remember to save file once you've made a change. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from our channel. Thank you for watching.